In the book Java for Testers, I teach Java slightly differently to make it easier to learn. Let me explain how. When you learn Java, one of the first things you traditionally learn is how to create a main method. And that makes sense, right? After all, you're learning how to write applications. Applications need to be compiled, and a compiled Java application needs a main method to run. Of course, you also need to know how to use Java C to compile the program, how to use Java to run the program, and you might need to know how to write a manifest file, how to use JAR to package the program, and how to sign the JAR. And if you're beginning your learning on how to program Java, then you probably don't even understand the code you've written, even just to write hello world to the console. I wonder why people prefer to learn scripting languages. But you don't have to learn all this when you start. You could write all your code in an IDE, write JUnit at test methods, run the JUnit at test methods from the IDE. That way, you can start to learn the Java programming language and use it to do stuff without all the baggage. And that's why in the book Java for Testers, you learn to write all your code as JUnit at test methods. And of course, our evil manipulative subtext. You'll also start your career in Java programming by learning TDD, so you code test first. Java for Testers is a tutorial guide. You can learn Java by writing JUnit at test code with Java for testers.